what's up everybody how's it going it's me merch um kind of a random video i know but i've been riding a lot this fall and i just got into an accident last night i hit a deer and this is the this is the crash site i hit it right here and i skidded for like 50 feet and it was pretty scary to say the least i had all my gear on i had all my protective gear but at this point i'm still sliding still sliding and my bike was fine it works i actually rode it out of there but it was a it was a scary situation and we slid with the deer and me all the way right to here and the deer was was dead on impact but it was um it was a scary a scary sight and there was a lady who i i landed right in front of her house and she came out and gave me some help but i just wanted to show you guys hit there and landed where i'm standing I was only going like 40 miles an hour. Now this is sort of graphic a little bit. I just showed the deer. I mean, it's not super gory, but there is blood. And you know, if you're squeamish, definitely don't watch any, any further. But the meat got used. There was a student nearby. This is in Castine, Maine. So there's a student nearby that goes to the local school that took the meat. And we called the police and we reported it and everything. But since that... My bike was basically undamaged. The front fender just got snapped off, but it ran fine and everything was good. Uh, and there was less than a thousand dollars of damages. I didn't have any injuries. So I was just, I called him. He said, okay, uh, you're good to go. And that was it. So I just drove home and it was kind of a scary drive home because I still had to drive quite a ways home. But yeah, wearing your gear, wear your gear guys. I always wear my gear. Sometimes things happen and it's no fault of your own and it's no fault of anyone else. Sometimes a deer just runs in the road and you have no control over that. So I smashed. Do you want this? Oh yeah, if I can, yeah, just yeah, so for, for a little sure. bit of a little evidence, but no, the front smashed it and this is all Yeah, that's all the grass i guess it looks like the innards like yeah the same color as that. have my helmet there and pulled the deer out of the road right here so it's a pretty good sized deer and i slid from way back there okay so i think that covers the bases i just had installed some lights on my bike that was for nighttime riding just in case I had to put a new dash light on there. So I was checking to make sure everything works. And the only way you can really check it is to ride it at night. I really don't like riding at night around here for that reason. The fact that deer are on the move, especially this time of year. It was the first night ride that I've done uh, probably in, in a few years. And I felt nervous about it. And I knew that this was going to happen. Like, I don't know. I just had a feeling. And that deer, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Ran right out in front. Um, I see a lot of guys riding without gear, and if I didn't have my gear on, my gloves, my Kevlar pants, my thick riding jacket, my helmet, I smashed my head on the road. I didn't, I wasn't hurt. I had leather boots on, over the ankle boots, thick everything. If I wasn't wearing that, I probably would be dead. Not only from the impact of my head uh, hitting on the road. But all of the skin that I would have lost, I, I would have had to get skin grafts, would have been unconscious, would have been a really bad situation. So if you guys are out there riding, uh, I know that this is somewhat of a graphic video, but if you're out there riding, this is nothing compared to what can happen to you. Um, you know, if you hit another car, if another car hits you in the road, there's, there's a lot of things that can happen. So wear your gear. I see guys riding all the time without helmets on and stuff and I still ride. I'm still going to ride. I love to ride. I'm not going to stop. But having the gear allows me to ride another day. So thanks for watching, guys. Ride safe.